Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Refresh Midweek Service. And I trust that you were blessed last week by the service, right? Today is another time in God's presence, and God is set to meet with you in a different dimension, right? And you don't be a part of this experience alone. So I want to invite your friends and family by clicking the share button below. Invite them to be a part of the service, and trust me, you are going to be blessed. As we go in the service, can we pray together? Father, we thank you for today. We give you praise and glory. As your word comfort, Lord, our heart is open to receive, Lord. We ask that God, your word will transform our life, and we are forever change. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we've prayed. Thank you for joining once more and enjoy the rest of the service. God bless you. If you're thankful for sunshine, Lord, I thank you for sunshine. Thank you for rain. Thank you for joy. Thank you for pain. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. Hey, Lord, I thank you for sunshine. I thank you for rain. Thank you for joy. Thank you for pain. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day that the Lord has made. I thank you for sunshine. Thank you for rain. Thank you for joy. Thank you for pain. It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day. Yeah, hey, hey. Thank you for sunshine. Thank you for sunshine. Thank you for rain. Thank you for joy. Thank you for pain. It's a beautiful day. Hey, 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 hey. It's a beautiful day. I thank you for sunshine. Thank, thank you for, for rain. rain. Thank you for joy. Thank you for pain. It's a beautiful day. Hey, 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 hey. It's a beautiful day. Hey, hey, hey. All right, listen. Listen. If I was a little child. I would sing and shout for joy. And if I was a Stanley or no, I would use my false power. And if I was a shining star, I would use it everywhere. And if I was the son of a domino, hey, I would make everybody show a salute to you. And if I could control the times, I would, I would go, go back, back to the, the garden of Eden. Eden. I would give you the worship that's only you. I will look for beautiful names. And of course, if I was, if I was a little child, I would sing and shout for joy. And if I was a Stanley, you know, I would use my voice and power. And if I was a shining star, I would illuminate I would to shine, shine. And if I was a son of a domino, I would make everybody try to salute hey. you. And if I could control the times, I would go back to the garden of Eden. If you did, well, I, I would, would give, give you the worship that only you deserve. I will look, come on. I, I will look for beauty like a latte. Like a latte. Yes, I will go and I will go and show them what I want. Don't go away. Happy is you, oh I was meant to give you twale. To give you twale. To give you worship. To give you worship. Happy yo, oh my I was meant to give you twale. To give you twale. To go down with the whole To give you worship. Only a fool will look into the heavens and say. Only a madman will look into the sea. Ah, even the Babala was can testify that there is only one Jehovah. So who are you to tell me that my Yahweh Masikin doesn't exist? It's a consuming fire. Oh, yes, he is the lion of the tribe of Judah. Him alone shall I say. Only a fool, only a hey. Only a fool when look into the heavens and say there is no God. Only a madman, madman, only a madman when look into the sea and say that the fish is a Even the Baba, only one God, God. only one God. So who are you to tell me that my Yahweh? Masikin doesn't. Why? It's a consumer like that I know. Shall I say for the rest of my day? Hey, listen and see. Ah, 
my father who art in heaven, I was made to give you toilet. To give you toilet. To give you worship. To give you worship. I was made to give you toilet. To give you I was made to give you toilet. To give you toilet. To go down with the elders. To give you worship. Happy is your new room. I have been to give you toilet. To give you toilet. To give you worship. To give you worship. Every Jericho in your life is falling down flat. It's falling down flat. Are you ready for this? The song says. He has heard my cry. He has heard my prayer. He has heard. 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 He I have come before you to Obati there is that moment when you know that my help has come. He has heard my cry and he has sent help. That's why I call you my Ebenezer. about the help of God if you know and you are sure because I know and I'm sure that my help is here my Ebenezer is here my, my help has come Ebenezer, 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 
Glory to God and welcome to Refresh Today. That was a powerful meditation by the great psalmist. Praise God. All right, so let's go into the Word of God. Praise God. I'm so excited you can join today. All right, let's take a text tonight. Let's take a text from the book of First Kings. I'll be reading tonight from the NLT. That's the New Living Translation of the Bible. Glory to God. I will start our reading from verse 41. Praise God. The stone there, let's read it together. First Kings 18 from 41. And Elijah said to Ahab, Go and enjoy a good meal, for I hear a mighty rainstorm coming. So Ahab prepared a feast, but Elijah climbed to the top of Mount Carmel and fell to the ground and prayed. Then he said to his servant, Go and look toward the sea. The servant went and looked, but he returned to Elijah and said, I didn't see anything. Seven times Elijah told him to go and look, and seven times he went. I love that. Finally, the seventh time, his servant told him, I saw a little cloud about the size of a hand rising from the sea and Elijah shouted hurry to hear and tell him climb into your chariot and go back home if you don't hurry the rain will stop you and sure enough the sky was soon black with clouds a heavy wind brought a terrific rainstorm and he had left quickly for Jezreel verse 46 the last verse now the Lord I love this gave special strength to Elijah. He tucked his clothes into his belt and ran ahead of Ahab's chariot all the way to the entrance of Jezreel. Lord, we ask tonight that you would bless your word in the name of Jesus. Let the entrance of your word give light and give understanding to our hearts in the name of Jesus. Let me speak as an oracle and, as, and not as an orator in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We give you all the praise. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Amen. Praise God. All right, I'll be talking tonight on what I've titled, Activating Your Prophecies. Activating Your Prophecies. Now, we read the story in 1 Kings 18, all right? And if you read the book of James chapter 5 from verse 16, we see... The story also, you know, come up in that um, scripture. And the Bible talked talk about the fact that Elijah was a man subject to like passion as you and I. He was a man, all right? And the Bible tells us that he prayed and there will be no rain, all right, for three and a half years. And honestly, what got me, you know, uh, what got my attention is, if, is, is the audacity with which, you know, uh, the man Elijah prayed. He didn't pray a small prayer. Praise God. He didn't pray that, oh, you know, let the rain not rain for a day. Or, you know, let the rain not fall for maybe two days or three days. The Bible says he said that the rain should not fall for three and a half years. And that's, that's so powerful. I mean, how could you even pray such a prayer? What kind of boldness, you know, what, like they say in my, in my native, you know, uh, dialects, what did you eat, you know, that you're not talking so confidently like that? You know, I mean, where did you get that kind of audacity from? But you see, I realized that Elijah understood the power of what God can do. He understood that with God, impossibility is nothing. With God, all things are possible. As the Bible says in Mark 9, 23. And that was why it was audacious to pray that kind of prayer. Praise God. And the Bible says that in prayer, there will be no rain for three and a half years. And guess what? There was no rain. Glory to God. There was no rain for three and a half years. Not because God said it, 
but because Elijah declared it. Praise God. And the Bible says that he prayed again, all right, that there will be rain. And there was rain. And this was what, you know, was being expressed here in 1 Kings 18 that we read. Praise God. The Bible says that Elijah, all right, said that there would be rain again. All right. And sometimes if you look at that process, okay, um, you know, people may just think that, oh, he prayed and then, you know, that there will be rain. All right, and then there was just rain automatically. That was not what happened. The Bible tells us here that he said to, okay, verse 42, he says, So here I prepared the feast, but Elijah climbed to the top of Mount Carmel and fell down to the ground and prayed. So even though the prophecy had gone ahead, he still needed to pray. Praise God. The book of 1 Timothy 1 18 talks about Burden your prophecy says you should war a good warfare with the prophecies that have gone ahead of you. So prophecies by themselves don't just come to pass. All right, it is us as believers, it is us as Christians that bring those prophecies to pass in our lives. Glory to God. So we see Elijah, you know, who had prayed a prayer that there should be rain after three and a half years, and he didn't just stop there. The Bible says he went to pray, all right? And then it was not just any kind of prayer. The Bible says he put his head in between his knees. I mean, that was, you know, a, a, a powerful prayer, all right? That was a, if you read the book of James, the next verse, I think that, that should be James 5, 17 or 18. It says, the virtual heart felt continued earnest prayer of a righteous man avails much makes you know tremendous power available dynamic in its working so it was not just any kind of prayer he prayed fervently so if you're if you're going to see god's prophecies you know come to pass in our lives you have to pray you have to keep praying your prayer has to be heartfelt it has to be earnest it has to be continued glory to god you know, God said to us at the beginning of this year that this year is a year of overflow. It's a year of overflow. And if it was a scripture in Psalm 23, verse 1, it says, You anoint my head, my cup runneth over. So, my challenge to you today is that your focus should not be on, Oh, is this one coming to pass or not? Your focus right now should be tarrying in the place of prayer. So, for you to activate, your prophecy, you have to birth that prophecy in the place of prayers. It's 11 months of the year. God can still do great things in your life. God can still bring that word overflow to pass in your life. But the question is, are you praying about it or are you just complaining about what God has not done? All right, so you have to understand that worry or complaining does not change anything. You have to go to God in the place of prayer. Glory to God. So for you to see the prophecies activated in your life, you have to be a man of prayer. Number two, you have to be consistent in prayers. You have to be consistent. You have to be resolute. All right. Job said, all the days of appointed time, I will wait until my change comes. Glory to God. So God's word won't just come to pass because he declared it. His word will come to pass because you are bringing, you know, that word to pass in your life. You are saying to yourself, I will not take no for an answer. All the days of my appointed time, I will wait until my change comes. Glory to God. If you read verse 43 of the NLT that I read, the Bible says, Then he said to his servant, that's Elijah, Go and look toward the sea. The servant went and looked. You remember last week or so, I spoke about the power of, of expectation. All right? The Bible says, The servant went and looked. In other words, Elijah was expecting something. But he returned to Elijah and said, I didn't see anything. Seven times Elijah told him to go and look. Glory to God. So, if he had come the first time, I mean the servant right now, Elijah could have given up. So, if you are going to be a man 
or a woman that will see God's prophecy come to pass in your life, you have to be persistent in your pursuit of God, persistent in prayers, persistent in seeking God, persistent in going to submit your proposal, persistent in dropping that CV, persistent in, you know, going after your business breakthrough. You have to be persistent. You cannot try once and say, oh, I'm done trying. Or you, you try, you know, the second time and say, oh, I'm done trying. The Bible says here, for six times, this servant was going and there was no results. No results, nothing to show for it. My question is, how many times have you tried? Watch me right now. How many times have you, you know, expected a miracle to happen for you? How many times have you dropped that proposal? How many times have you dropped that, you know, that thing you're trusting God for? How many times? How many times have you gone for that interview? How many times have you gotten, you know, a, 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 a no? How many times, you know, have your visa been, been disapproved? How many times? The Bible says there was no result until the seventh time. The servant said, I didn't see anything. Seven times, Elijah told him to go and look, and seven times he went. Verse 44, he says, Finally, the seventh time, the servant told him, I saw a little cloud about the size of an ant rising from the sea. So it was the seventh time that he tried, that he saw just a, a glimpse of answered prayers. And I'm praying for you in the name of Jesus, watching me right now, as you try again, this time will be the final time you will try. Because God will show up on your behalf in the name of Jesus. But you have to keep trying. All the days of my appointed time, I will wait. Glory to God. I will keep trying. I won't, yes, I failed, all right? But I'm going to go again then. I will go and submit that proposal again. I will go and talk to that lady again. I will write that book again. I will attempt that business again. I will do it again. I won't give up. Glory to God. Then the light just shouted, Orient to air and tell him, Climb into your chariot and go back home. If you don't hurry, the rain will stop you. It says, For I hear the sound of the abundance of rain. Glory to God. And that's why I hear right now in my spirit something unusual, something strange is going to happen for you. There's a sound of abundance of rain. Glory to God. Verse 46, as I begin to wrap this up, the Bible says, Now the Lord gave special strength to Elijah. He tucked his cloak into his belt and ran ahead of Ahab's chariot all the way to the entrance of Jezreel. Glory to God. For you to see the activation of your prophecy in your life, you have to pray for the Lord for special strength. Maybe you have tried all right, for you know the, the first time, the second time, the third time, the fourth time, the fifth time, the sixth time, no results. At that time, your strength may fail you. And at this time, you need to receive strength from God. The Bible says, For though our outward man may perish, but our inward man is renewed day by day. Somebody here watching me right now, all you need is special strength. Is any prayer you have to pray right now to the end of the year is strength. The strength to believe. The strength to trust God. The strength to be, be expectant. The strength to be full of faith. The strength to try again. Glory to God. Even though your human strength has failed you, the Bible says the joy of the Lord is your strength. So in this season, all right, as a church, we have declared that the month of November is a month of laughter and singing, praise God. And the Bible says that the joy of the Lord is your strength. And laughter and singing are expressions of joy. So as you laugh, as you sing, your strength will be renewed and you can go ahead and possess the land that God has promised you in this year. And God has said to you, this year is your year of overflow. And it's not too late. God can still do amazing things in your life. Your dream can still come true. You can still get married. You can still get your proposal signed. You can still get your visa. You can still travel abroad. You can still perform signs and wonders. You can still win souls for God. There's a lot locked up in this year for you. But the question is, 
can you receive special strength right now and so i decree and declare in the name of jesus for those watching me right now i prophesy special strength is coming to your heart right now in the name of jesus receive grace receive strength to pull through that this year will end on a great note for you in jesus precious name amen god bless you for joining i'll see you next time bye for now what a great word that was by our lead pastor. Trust that you were blessed. To give your offering this evening, kindly make it payable to Gracemate Christian Center with the account numbers currently being displayed on your screen. May God bless and expand you as you give to the expansion of His kingdom. Thank you for being a part of today's service. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Our November teaching series will be on business and leadership. Joining our lead pastor, Shimon Shibeson, for the teaching series will be two phenomenal business and thought leaders, Mr. Nia Disoya, MD CEO, Fifth Gear Consultant, and Dr. Stephen Akintayo, Chairman, G-Text Holdings. The series is set to help you end the year 2023 on a great note and position you for a phenomenal 2024. Make sure you invite a friend and don't miss any of the services. to myself, I will go to school and I'll get this degree. But even if there's no job for me, I will graduate and I will employ people. You do not deal with people similarly, you deal with people equitably. There are some people that you are gentle with. There are some people that you are forceful with. Excellence attracts. It attracts you to kings. There's a way to talk. They call it forming. It's not forming. It's realizing your destiny. Kindly follow us on our social media platforms on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube at Grace Media NG. Till we meet again same time next week, remain blessed.